What's up, family? We have an Atlanta mother who has gone viral for allowing her kids to pose in a photograph, throwing up gang signs, and one even poses with a gun. What y'all think about that, fam? She out of pocket or what? Now, there's many layers to this onion, fam. Let's start peeling. Okay. People say, oh, that's crazy. But how many times have you seen people post who were, let's say, in Kentucky, back of the pickup truck, the kids got guns, and they're just having a good old time, and people just celebrate. They celebrate it as patriotism. The biggest problem that I see with this is the gang sign, right? You see the kid with the gun hanging out his pocket. And that's a little out of place too, because that don't look like a situation where, okay, we're being conscious about guns and I'm showing, you know, we got, uh, gun responsibility going on and all this type of stuff. This just looked like some straight up regular street thugging type thing. That's what it looks like. And that's why she's catching so much flack. Heard some people say that, see there, the black woman, every time a black chick, you know, especially a hood chick, that you know, every time she get out of pocket, they blame all the black women. See, the black mother, the black woman is to, to, to destroy, to be the end of the black family. It's the black woman, the black woman. You know, you do have women out there, black women out there who are bad, just really, really bad influences. Uh, just horrible people, right? They are out there. But generalizations are dangerous. Keep in mind, fam, that generalizations have been made about black people over the years. And how many times if you are the type of person who got your stuff together, you're respectful, you're a law abiding citizen, all that kind of stuff. And somebody just make a sweeping generalization and throw you right in there with everybody else. How does that make you feel? Right? So I'm totally not with that. In addition, if you want to be with that, you can go that route. But just keep that same energy when you look at the type of dudes who sleep with a woman like that. See, it's a lot of dudes who uh, lay up in bed with a chick like that and procreate with a chick like that and then want to talk about it, you know, She's showing you who she is, but you want to go lay up with her anyway and have a baby with her. And now she out here acting a damn fool, taking pictures, got her kids throwing up F.U. signs, uh, gang signs, got another kid with a gun hanging out of, out of his pocket. Now you want to blame, put all the blame on her. Now it's these dudes, she had five kids. Somebody... A dude, it was a man, gave her that sperm, put his thing inside of her, raw dogged her, and gave her every last one of those babies. So what about him? What does that say about him? And what does that say about a lot of y'all who then laid up with these type of women and then try to make these generalizations? Nah, man, call out your one that you got down with, or your two, or your three, or your five, however many you got down with, call them out, and then make sure you call your own stuff out. You see? I'm going to tell you like this, fam. If I hook up with a chick, and she do me dirty, I ain't really trying to let everybody know how I got done dirty. You know? I'm not trying to talk about all of that. And 
Another reason why I wouldn't, besides just the embarrassment of it, is if somebody take advantage of you, it kind of makes you look weak, right? So I ain't trying to make people think it's sweet over here. You know, yeah, okay, I, she got me, whatever, whatever. But I ain't trying to let everybody, anybody else know that 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 the, that the that the armor can be penetrated. Can be penetrated. I'm not trying to let them know all of that. So it's almost like being on a let's just say let's just say you boxing or whatever. It's like being a fighter, and you know you know that you your uh, one of your hands are. Uh, is sprung, or you broke one of your you broke your hand. You can't let your opponent know you know that your hand broke. I'm talking about if you're in the heat of battle. You know you're fighting. You're fighting right now. You can't let your opponent know that 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 hand is injured. You can't let that opponent know that you know your knee is injured because the opponent is going to take advantage of it, right? If he knows that your ribs are so sore, sore, well he gonna hit you right in the ribs. So these dudes, they, they seem like they don't understand that. They they just get on, on the internet and they start being emotional and just uh, the woman this and the black woman this and he and yeah. But at the same time, they still interested in the black woman. They still trying to hook up with her. And I don't want to hear nothing about all these other women dating all these other women because guess, guess what? Uh, when y'all jump out there and go mess with these other women, y'all get done the same way with them unless you ain't with them in a relationship. Let you just pay and you trick it. Because that's going on a lot. A lot of y'all running out there to the D, what, what, the DR, tricking. A bunch of tricking going on. Like, them chicks ain't wanting you because they like you. Because they they look at you and think you, you you this and you that. They ain't looking at you for that. They ain't checking, at, checking, checking you for that. They checking your pockets. Straight up checking your pockets. So how does that make them any better than any one of the black chicks that you be dogging, that you talk down on? So, and let me be clear, fam. Yes, there are some low down, dirty sisters out there. They dirty, they low down as low can get. But I ain't that stupid where I would make that generalization and call out every black woman for the shortcomings of a few. It makes absolutely no sense it's the same as some black chick that's been jaded by black men and she just make this generalization about black men and say, ain't none of them no good. And all that y'all, all you're doing is making it harder on the black women, the black men that are in your family and the black women that's that are in your family. That's all y'all doing. Y'all a bunch of y'all, y'all really emotional. Y'all really need therapy. But y'all get on the internet and y'all talk about each other and trash each other and make these sweeping generalizations and stuff. And it ain't fair to the other people that's in that gender. You know, the other women in that, the other women or the other men, it ain't fair at all. Everybody should be judged by their own merit. This chick right here, this one chick right here should be judged by what she's doing. And what she's doing should not be a reflection of you shouldn't try to make it a reflection of all black women because we know that that ain't the case because if you're going to try to make that case then you got to put your mom in there too no more talk what the ladies talking about <laughs>